November, throughout Europe, all military experts agree that the European nation which controls Africa controls the southern approaches to Europe. Yes, Your Excellency. Now, what about Africa? Any reports? From Tambosa. Our agents there are still working to gain the allegiance of the Middle Jungle tribes. How successfully? Until now, very successfully. But they are worried about a rumor concerning a mysterious queen of the jungle. Tangara now. Does that mean the ceremony has begun? Not yet, Buana Lang. When the gong stout Tonga comes. Tonga's a friend of England. Is he also a friend of that mysterious girl you've been telling me about? The Tongili talk about the mystery queen of the jungle, but no one has ever seen her. Well, regardless of her, Marty, you want to rule the people of the middle jungle, don't you? I want to take Tonga's place. Well, that's why I'm here. To help you get it. <laughs> Why do the chiefs of all the tribes stand before me? Tonga, judge of all Tongili, guardian of the sacred sword of Tongu. This prisoner is of the Bondo tribe. He murdered a warrior of the Lodo. The chiefs of the two tribes do not agree as to his punishment. Bring the prisoner before me. Tongu, that's why I killed my enemy. I asked for mercy. Tongu, founder of all our tribe, enforce the laws with this sword. The laws of Tongu will be obeyed. Take the test. Even the innocent hesitate, yet they, they alone, pass safely through the flame. Ah! Only the guilty perish. Ponga! Our judges have lived, ruled, and died throughout the many centuries. Yet no man before now has raised hand against me. The mystery queen of the jungle. Why does she come? I come to help you. Enemies have crept secretly into your middle jungle. Unknown enemies. They come from across the wide waters. They planned this murder. I am called Lozell. I am now your judge. You are my hunters. Bring me the murderer. <laughs> Hello, Dr. Borg. Hello. 
Oh. <laughs> the Commissioner hoped you wouldn't stay in the middle jungle. Hello, Lang. Rogers. When did you return? My safari reached Mboza last night. As usual, thanks to Mr. Lang. I suppose you've heard of the murder of Tonga. Yes, the jungle drums told us. The Commissioner wants very much to see you. If you don't mind, Dr. Bork, I won't wait. Of course, Mr. Lang. Hello, Dr. Bosch. Hello, Mr. Chairman. I'm very glad to see you. Thank you. You don't happen to know whether Courtney is bringing his safari in, do you? Alan Courtney? Is he in the middle jungle? Oh, yes. He took a safari out the week after you left. Uh, well, sit down, please. Thank you. Courtney is even a better friend of the Tongili than I am. But if I were in his place, I would not trust the natives now. Unfortunately, that's up to Courtney. Did you hear anything in the jungle about Tonga's assassination? A strange story about a mysterious woman. According to the natives, she appeared walking through fire just after the murder. <laughs> you know, that's one of the most interesting things about Africa. You never know where the truth ends and imagination begins. What did she do? She warned the Tongila against foreigners who come into the middle jungle. Oh, I see. That, that is serious. Know anything else about her? Only her name, Lothel. Lothel? Is that Tongili? Yes, it means white butterfly. He's badly wounded, sir. I, I come, Wana, from the Tongili. We need help. I find Tonga killer Lothel. Lothel. Someone certainly didn't want him to reach us. He's dead. How he got here is a miracle. He must have been wounded two or three days ago. What did he mean, Lothel? I'm afraid that Lothel is a name we will not forget very soon. I'm afraid so too, Doctor. And now, if you'll excuse me. Of course, Mr. Chapman, I understand. Thank you. I knew you would. Goodbye. Why dismiss Dr. Bork, sir? She knows more about these natives than anyone except Alan Courtney. Dr. Bork isn't English, Rogers. I wish Courtney were here. Rogers, look there. That man has a message for us. Expecting you. Thank you. Not that. Not here, Pam. You'll only call me Mr. X. If you please, my dear. Any word from your Uncle Alan recently? No, he, he never writes when he's in the middle jungle. I thought perhaps he might have come out since I last heard. You've been there with him, have you not? Why, why yes, of course, of four safaris. But you knew about that before. Well, the question's just for the record, my dear. Did you read the report I sent you about the trouble in the middle jungle? Yes, I did. But I still can't understand why the judge of the tribes was murdered. We think we know. But we have to be sure. That's why we want your uncle to investigate. I'm afraid that Tongili would resent interference in native affairs. The native mentioned in the report, the one who died in our commissioner's office at Tambosa, had this clutched in his hand. I don't think the Tongili were custom-made American clothes, do you? No. If it were a German... Labels don't always mean what they say, my dear. Not when another world war is sure to come at any moment. Warmongering Nazis never take human rights into consideration. The control of certain localities may spell the difference between victory and defeat. Almost every foreign office in the world will agree that the nation which controls Africa controls all the southern approaches to Europe. In other words, if the Nazis control the Tongili, it will help them to control Africa. Yes. 
That's why I hope you'll take my request to your uncle. You're the one person in the world that can go to him openly without creating suspicion. Nine seven six D two eight. Right out. We have our confirmation, sir. Good. We instructed the United States about the Taylor's label. That was Washington acknowledging unofficial interest. repair any more cheap motors anyway. Uh, if I needed a mechanic, this is the last place in town I'd come to. Oh, yeah? Well, back that pile of junk right out of here. Back it out. <laughs> How are you, old greaseball? Fine, Bob. You know, you still got the worst case of pornitis I've ever heard. Well, rev it up. Maybe I can find a couple other cylinders for you. Oh, this engine doesn't need any more cylinders. I came here to talk business to you. Uh-oh, serious, huh? What's up? Well, uh, I thought that maybe if you could get away from this place... Hold it. Hold it. Just a minute. Oh, boy. I knew it. I knew it. You're planning another hunting trip. That's right. Doggone, this astrology stuff never fails. You know, the chart said I was going to take a trip sometime between the 10th and the 15th. How do you like that? Still trying to find out today what's going to happen tomorrow, huh? Yeah. Oh, I know. I used to be superstitious about it. But now I'm scientific. Well, I, I guess the old joint will be able to run itself for a couple of months. Where are we going? Well, a friend of mine in Washington was telling me about a place called Tambosa. Tambosa? Do you fry it, boil it, or bake it? <laughs> no, it's a river town down in Africa, on the edge of the middle jungle. And because of my curiosity, we may be walking into something. Huh? I mean, there's a chance we might not come back. Oh, you don't say so. Hmm. Africa, huh? Okay, it's a deal. What are we hunting for? Well, we won't know that until we meet an Englishman by the name of Alan Courtney in Tambosa. The Tambosa Report, Your Excellency. More about the so-called mystery queen of the jungle? No, but Pamela Courtney is now en route to our uncle, Alan Courtney. So England has finally decided to investigate our activities. Anything else? A New York tailor's label ripped from the coat of one of our agents was found in the jungle. Better New York than Berlin. What is Washington going to do about it? Nothing. Where's Miss Courtney now? She will take the night plane for Tambosa. Our men at Lombu have received orders. Excellent. Next stop, Tambosa. Bravo, here we come. Look, Chuck. If we can help the English, that's okay. If they don't want us, we'll just hunt lions. Well, here's hoping the English can use some volunteer Americans, because I'd rather hunt Nazis. That's why I'm following up my friend's story. <laughs> you don't have to worry, Kranz. Those motors sound perfect to me, Johan. I'm called Jack around here. One of those motors won't sound so good a little later. You won't see it happen. I don't want to see it happen. All I want to know is, are you sure it will happen? The weather report's not good either. Fine. Predicted. Soupy, what? Bed down our passengers. Mm, that's one thing about this run I don't like. Commercial passengers and freight really don't mix, you know. Fasten your safety belts, please. Fasten your safety belts, please. Okay, thanks. I guess the weather isn't exactly what the pilot ordered. The weather's never good here. I've flown this route before. You're very interesting. Uh, I mean, that's very interesting. 
You live in these parts? No, I, I've been on safaris out of Tambosa with my uncle. Do you hunt? Uh, never in Africa before. Why? I was wondering if you'd ever heard of my uncle, Alan Courtney. Oh, I've read his books. I'm going to hunt in the middle jungle. I'm Bob Elliott. This is my friend Chuck Kelly. Well, welcome to Africa, Mr. Elliott and Mr. Kelly. I'm Pamela Courtney. Well, I hope you're flying to your uncle, Miss Courtney. I especially want to meet him. I shall join his safari. He's already in the middle jungle. Uh, Americans? Oh, yes, I am. I'm from New York, but uh, my friend here, he's from Brooklyn. Oh? The United States, Miss Courtney, is the other half of Brooklyn. <laughs> get the Tambosa signal. Too much competition. I know, and it doesn't help us to check out air course. How far are we from Tambosa? About two hours out. We're over the middle jungle now. Did you say middle jungle? Mm-hmm. What star's out of line now, Chuck? Stars are never out of line. But according to my astrology chart, we are plenty. That air screw counts out. Nothing will help us except luck and prayers. Drop another. This is one time in my life I'd rather be walking. On or off course won't matter now. Find consolation for a forced landing in the middle jungle. Lift six, Skipper. I say, look there. Beyond that hill, it's flat and open. I'm ahead of you, old man. We get over this ridge, we may live long enough to be clawed by a lion. I never thought we had a chance. Neither did I. You know, Chuck, that wasn't included in your book. Brakes don't hold. We can't have everything out of them, way. Nairobi via Tambosa took off on schedule, Your Excellency. Was everything arranged? According to our Lombu agents, everything. Good. Germany has been kept out of Africa long enough. Hello there, Chatterton here. What? In a storm over the middle jungle? You say your people have lost radio contact? All right, thank you. Let me know, will you? Storms are the usual on this route, sir. 
And no planes have ever crashed. Yes, yes, I know that, Rogers, but this plane is carrying an important passenger, Secret Service. Alan Courtney's niece, Pamela, sent here by London. She's to find her uncle in the jungle and persuade him to investigate our suspicions that the Nazis are stirring up the natives. Find consolation for a forced landing in the middle jungle. The thick skipper. I say, look there. Beyond that hill, it's flat and open. I'm ahead of you, old man. If we get over this ridge, we may live long enough to be clawed by a lion. I never thought we had a chance. Neither did I. You know, Chuck, that wasn't included in your book. Brakes don't hold. We can't have everything our own way. How is she? Due to wake up with a headache, otherwise okay. Our pilots never had a chance. Bob. You know, this girl claiming to be Courtney's niece worries me. Maybe it's true. How can the Nazis suspect us when actually we're just travelers? The Nazis ain't bad hunters, Bob. Maybe she's a spy. We don't know if Courtney has a niece. Could be. But meeting her on the plane might be just a coincidence. Yeah, like you coming to meet Courtney and Tamboza. Accidentally, on purpose. Oh. Oh. Ooh. How do you feel? I think I'm still in one piece. You'd like to get out of that crash alive. Yeah, but don't ask me how it happened, because I don't know. Anyway, we're safe. Boys, we aren't safe here. What do you mean? It's just a middle jungle. Only territory in all Africa still unexplored. Am I glad you said that? Oh. <laughs> All astrologers carry their good luck for you. <laughs> what do the stars say if we meet the natives? I don't need astrology to give me the answer to that one. Just stay clear of them. The Tangili feel the same way about you. How well organized are they? Mm, more than you'd think. They're controlled by an all-powerful judge. When the chiefs disagree, he makes the decision. Then actually, this judge rules all the tribes of the middle jungle, doesn't he? Yes. He derives his power from a secret that only he and his successor know. Kamanova Omo, Kualuzargo Wataganza. So you see, it would be quite a nasty mess if the judge organized the tribes against England. Or if some other power persuaded them to do it and helped them. It would be just the sort of intrigue Germany would undertake, don't you think? <laughs> you sound like a Nazi. I say, I was just thinking the same thing about you. Nazis, unexplored jungle, wild animals, that does it. Amboza, here I come. <laughs> Confirmation. Anything more to report? That's all for now. 
Yeah. I'll ring you back as soon as Berlin acknowledges your message. That puts us up to date with Berlin. Headquarters approves. Why not? Everything has been accomplished exactly as ordered. Well, Lang, you objected to me last night listening at Chatterton's. What about it now? Not worth the risk. You only learned what we already suspected, that the English know there are German agents in the middle jungle. Ah, oh, but suspicion is never fact. We know now what we only suspected before. Oh, no, that's the same thing as saying that I don't know the night plane crashed last night because I didn't see it. You have every right to believe that it is down. But can you be certain that Miss Courtney has been destroyed? Well, I'm having natives check just to make sure. Exactly. That's why I was eavesdropping last night, to make sure. Well, Denka, what about the plants? The experiment seems to be working. Good. Interesting development of these species. Yes, Father and Doctor. We shall make agricultural history with them. Mm -hmm. Better yet, because of them, the English will never suspect that we are the German agents they're looking for. Now, we're having enough trouble with the English Secret Service as it is, but now, how about the American? As far as we know, the Americans are sending no agents. If they do, we could have another plane accident. Correct. But seriously, Lang, the control of Africa depends on us here as much as Germany's worldwide plan depends on other key agents. Yes, I forgot. The High Command is anxious to start the war. When will the new judge of the Tongida be murdered? As soon as he's named his successor. You guarantee, do you, that our man will be chosen? I could yesterday. Why not today? Lothel, the Mystery Queen of the Jungle. my duty to decide which one of you shall take my place when I'm gone. Always there are three candidates. Where is the third? I'm here, Godak, our new judge. You know us, Godak. We whom our chiefs have named for your consideration. You know also that once I saved your life. Orban, Kaiba, Mati. Each of you is worthy to succeed me, but there is need for only one, Marty. Tongu, our founder, named the first judge and gave to him this sword. Because I know the secret of this sword, I am now your judge, but... The woman who walks through fire comes to counsel with us. Open the door. I come again to warn you. There are enemies in the middle jungle, set from across the wide waters. Choose the candidate who knows no strangers. Choose Kaiba. I am called Lothel. Take your time, Norma. Take your time. The big bird. It fell in the jungle. Did you find it? Yes, Buona. In the trail of one woman and two men. I saw them. You don't look like a future judge to me. What happened? Lothel doesn't like me. She chose Kaiba. She said Kaiba didn't know strangers. How would you like to prove to Lothel that you hate strangers as much as she does? Very much. Lothel makes me afraid. I thought so. You listen to what Norma has to say, and then I'll tell you what to do. Hey, what are you waking up for? It's a girl's turn. Oh, let her sleep. I'd rather have you take over than her anyway. She was so determined to take her turn that I agreed. But after all, Chuck, what she doesn't know won't hurt her. Joseph, what were you saying? <laughs> Uh-oh. Thanks for the consideration, boys. But you forget I've stood watch on safari before. And I wake up on time. It's much more comfortable in the cave than out here. Well, am I watching or all of us?
Jesus, why, this is a swell time for her to double-cross us. She might be a Nazi agent and still have no connection with the natives. sign of a struggle either. My rifle's gone. Bamba, Naka. Angus, Angus. When your friends use all their bullets, my men will kill them. I will take you to Karka. So make Lothel, queen of the jungle, my friend. Andoka. This lady's rifle would have killed us if it hadn't been for you. You saved me last trip. This one's on me. This is an old model. What's the difference, old or new? The point is, how do the Tongili happen to have rifles? Don't ask me. Hey, this is a Mauser. Yeah, made in Germany. Nazis? Yeah, the same Nazis that girl's probably out there. <laughs> There's a crevice in the back wall, but it don't get any place. That's a good idea, taking a look. Well, we're sure on one thing. It's going to take more than an idea to help us when we run out of ammunition. I will help you. I am Lothel. You did not find the way, but I came here through it. Follow me. Wait a minute. Trust me. I trust you.
And so we must not start our conquest of Europe until sure that we shall be able to control Africa. Therefore, gentlemen, Africa is our immediate problem. Code message from Tambosa by radio, Your Excellency. Mr. Lack, my expert on never getting what Germany wants from the Middle Jungle tribes. I'm glad my superior appreciates me. I've just told Berlin that Pamela Courtney escaped from the plane crash. You can tell Berlin that Marty has captured her. Indeed. Hello, Bella. Lang speaking. Put this into code for the High Command. The High Command? Go ahead, Lang. Pamela Courtney, who was sent by London to persuade her uncle, Alan Courtney, to investigate our murder of Tonga, the judge of the tribes, will be sacrificed tonight by the Tongini. When the fire goes out, Kaka will come up the steps. Americans won't help you. My men will kill them. I want Lothel, the queen of the jungle, to be my friend. Drum. Wait. We must tell Marty. A leopard smelled the blood of a wounded Tongili traitor. The English girl is in great danger. Come. Nazi after all. You've got to save her, Chuck. Girls, two friends. They're not Lothel's enemies. But Lothel warned us against strangers in the middle jungle. Lang is also a stranger. He wants these people killed. She doesn't. The Tongili will listen to Lothel. They will blame me if she is angry. The girl must live. Chuck, set fire to that other row of huts.
take you to Godak. He is our judge. Marty! There are many fires! The village cannot be saved! Nobody can stick around here long. We can get to the girl now. Look, Pam. Hey. Tongili didn't quite make it. They tried hard enough. We started those fires, figuring the confusion would give us a chance to save you. Marty, the chief cut me loose. Said he was going to take me to Godak, the judge. Ooh, I wouldn't want to meet either of those birds. Well, there's one way of making sure we won't. You let that English girl and those Americans escape because you were afraid it'll fail. The Tongue really liked Lothel very much. You can't be my friend of Lothel's, too. I want Lothel to make me the judge. Sure, Marty, sure. That's why she chose Kaiba. She thinks I'm not her friend, but I'll show her that I am. You shoot that and Noma will come with the warriors. Sit down, Marty. Now, suppose I fix it so the Tongili will not like your mystery queen. You do that and I'll kill the English girl and the Americans before they leave the jungle. Fair enough. I've been planning that stunt ever since you told me how the judge was chosen. You shouldn't have let me sleep so long, boys. You needed it. Isn't that a polite way of saying you didn't want me to stand watch? Well, after all, Pam... You didn't know if I was really Pam Courtney or a Nazi, isn't that it? Well, we thought you were leading us into a trap. We knew better when we saw you tied to that stake. I didn't trust you either. That's why I was letting you take me to Tambosa. You mean you really know where your uncle's camp is? Of course. Are you American agents sent to help him? Oh, no, no, no. We're American volunteers. I heard about this trouble here through a friend of mine in Washington. Why Nazis want to play marbles for keeps with anyone in this wilderness is still beyond me. Well, control the judge who rules the middle jungle tribes, and through him you pretty well control a large region in Africa. Sure, sure. But why did England ever bother to tell Washington all about this? Look. Fellows and Company, Custom Tailors, New York City. That label is connected in some way with the murder of Tonga, who was pro-British and Godak's predecessor. Nazis wearing American clothes, huh? Or Nazi spies who took out their citizenship papers to hide their German origin. I suggest you let me guide you to my uncle. He knows more about the Tongili than anyone else. Does he know this mysterious jungle queen who saved us? No, I doubt it. So do I. The fellow seems to have arrived here just about the same time we did. All right, Pam, lead the way. The foreign doctor, she's come to ask questions. I think my answers will please even her. Well, Lack, how about it? I think I can get enough fire out of the volcano to get the effect we want. It's due to erupt anyway. I hope it does. So much the better. The TNT I've already planted may encourage an eruption, but no explosion will ever stop one. What about Pamela Courtney and the two Americans? Their trail has been discovered. They're going deeper into the jungle. Indeed. Hunting for the girl's uncle, no doubt. She will never speak to him. They should be near the volcano tonight. And tomorrow, Marty will capture them and blame whatever happens on them.
Lord Judge. The secret that I know about this sword is my power. Only my successor can share the secret. Kaiba, I will tell it to you. Has Kaiba asked the approval of the gods? Do you want Kaiba to go to the mountain of fire? Any Tongili can demand that Kaiba take the test. Let him go to the mountain tonight. The mountain of fire no longer houses ancient gods. I do not question the fire that Tongu, our founder, worship. Tongu, the sword you bear. Go that strangers work in the ruined temples of the mountain. Who planned enslavement of your people? Last night she saved the strangers from the sacrifice to Carker. A village burned. She is a stranger also. I am no self, and I harm no one. I come only to help you. Kaiba, do not go. Godak, our judge, shall decide. Go to the mountain. If its flames do not erupt tonight, you are worthy. And I shall tell you the secret of the sword tomorrow. Oh, take it easy, Marty. Are you sure? You'll be the judge alike for this time tomorrow. As soon as Godak tells me the secret of the sword, I will kill Godak. That is a general idea. Then I'll be the judge. Did you see Kaiba? Kaiba's gone to the old temple. He's there now. Now the ancient gods will tell Kaiba what they think of him. You break our tribal laws to come here. I come to plead with you. Leave this temple, Kaiba. If there's danger here for me, it is my destiny. The voices of your ancient gods are stilled. Strangers are here. thing in this jungle, it's another. First we crash in a plane, then natives try to feed us to crocodiles. Now the mountain blows its top. We're much too close for comfort. I'll get like you. This time I come to you for help. We're under obligation to you. You must save Godak's successor. If Kaiba dies, your enemies will rule the middle jungle. Come. You two hike back over the farthest ridge. Queenie sure gets around, don't she?
he's anywhere near that volcano? I know how you feel, Chuck. It's dangerous for Bob, but he is doing the right thing. By risking his life to save a native just because that mystery gal wants him to? <laughs> oh, come again, Pam. Look, the Germans can't control the middle jungle tribes until that particular native is killed. Why are we here in Africa, Chuck? First to find your uncle, then help him stop Nazis. Bob is already stopping Nazis, as you put it, by saving this Tongili. Yeah, yeah, I know. But I still don't like him having all the fun. Well, now I want you to come with me, Kaiba. A fellow is a stranger like you. I obey the gods. The fire is silent now, and Kaiba's gods have not destroyed him. Kaiba will still believe that his gods condemned him. It was enemies from across the wide waters who caused the mountain of fire to speak. No man could start such an eruption. Search in the jungle, and you will find that I tell the truth. Kaiba returns to Godak. Let him go. I've been expecting this report. Up to now, I'd hoped for a miracle. Miracles don't happen in Africa. I suppose it's about Pam Courtney. Yes. Up to now, there's been no trace of her or the plane. Has her uncle been located? No. Alan Courtney hasn't returned to Tambosa yet with his safari. It's imperative that we get somebody to him, question him as soon as possible. British security in the middle jungle is at stake. Crushing the Nazis there quickly depends upon information that only Courtney has. A report from a London agent, Your Excellency. London? I was expecting a report from Africa. This concerns Africa, Your Excellency. Mr. X is sending someone else into the middle jungle to find Alan Courtney. I've never been able to understand. Well, Lang, the volcanic eruption was even more successful than we bargained for. Now what? Godak will announce Marty as his successor in the morning instead of Kaiba. What about the girl and the two Americans? According to Marty, their trail was wiped out by the volcanic avalanche. Their trail? 
What about them? If they escape, they're still in the jungle. Marty will kill them. Lang, are you sure we can guarantee control of the middle jungle? Positively. Marty's so greedy for power that he'll agree to anything. In that case, we shall do our part in taking Africa over for Germany. Yes, Weber, continue. And therefore, Courtney must be found and silenced at once. Confirm the Berlin order. What's the matter, Elise? Alan Courtney. Closing his mouth shouldn't be too difficult. That's right. Marty's warriors have located Courtney's safari. Have Marty attend to Courtney immediately. And then make sure about the girl and the two men. Rather hopeless, isn't it? That mystery queen would be a great stooge for a magician. She's becoming a menace. But she did save our lives. Yeah, so now Bob does anything she wants. Like us looking for evidence to prove Nazis started the eruption last night. Hey, come down here. Well, that was right. She is. Natives don't wear shoes. No, but somebody wearing them has been long here since the eruption. Whoever it was walked on this volcanic ash. Yeah. Let's find out where he came from. Listen. Drums again. They've been warming up all morning. Kaiba's returning to Tangara. It's probably about him. Drums tell us that Kaiba lives, but the mountain of fire condemned him last night. Marty is right. A stranger overcame me and carried me from the death which the gods had decreed. A stranger got back, whom Lothal had led to me. Choose Marty as your successor. They should give us all the cats we want. With this and our other traps, it certainly should. Moses, sir? That's right, Jungle Jack. And as quickly as possible. Well, here we are. The end of the footprints and no sign of nothing. Hey! Oh, we got what we came after. Look at this wire. It's new. No, there's a... Uh, this has been wrapped around a terminal, that end. A detonator box? I don't know. There's an impression in the earth of something like that over there. Hmm. Even if the blast didn't start the explosion, the natives would think that it did, if somebody could talk with them. Uncle Alan can. How far is it to his camp? We couldn't make it before dark. Fine. We'll get a fresh start in the morning. Uh-uh. We'll go right now. Well, that was a quick day. Well, I got here as quickly as I could. What's the trouble now? Kodak, the judge of the middle jungle, listens to Lothel and plans to speak to Bonnell Courtney. 
Well, if Godak talks to Courtney, you will never be judge in Godak's place. I will kill Buona Courtney. Lothellus warned your people against strangers. Why not let Godak think that a stranger killed Courtney? Oh, look, Queenie. I'm beginning to think she's haunting us. Shut up, Chuck. What is it, Lothel? The man called Courtney is in great danger. There is a shorter way to reach him. Come. just thinking. Times don't change much. Back in 14, we were waiting for the Germans to move. It's 39 now, and we're doing the same. Unfortunately, we haven't a strong world organization to take care of nations like Germany. What else can we do? For a change, move first. Yes, but that would make England the aggressor. You don't want that. But something ought to be done. Nations haven't any more right to start wars than I have to murder somebody. Oh. What'd you say? Taking inside. Hello, Alan. What happened? I'm Bob Elliott. This is Chuck Kelly. We came to the United States to talk to Mr. Courtney. I'm afraid you got here a little too late. Lord Bell. Mr. X wants to know about Tonga's murder. The secret of the sword of Tongu is of hell. Those two men escaped the avalanche. I've declared that a stranger rescued him. Who else could have done it except one of those men? The girl must die. She's a niece of Courtney. Yes. And Godak will listen to whatever she tells him. And the men? If our people capture them, those two will be blamed for everything. You're clever, Marty. They're Lothel's friends. She will defend them. Be thought guilty, too. Even Kaiba will accuse them and her. Mr. Courtney was my best friend, Miss Pam. I know, Jack. It was mine, too. I was sent to Uncle Allen by England. These men say they came from the United States to see him. That's right. Let me ask the questions, Pam. Do you know the secret of the sword of Tongu? Only Mr. Courtney knew that, and he never told anybody, because he promised he wouldn't. Do you know Lothel? No, I never saw her. Mr. Courtney and I talked about her now and then. I imagine he must have seen her. He never said he did. I'll free the animals. 
Pile them in or try to recapture them, you creep. I know what to do now. So my uncle must have meant that Lothel knows a secret. That's the only logical reason for him mentioning her. Now that we need to talk to Queenie, we'll probably never see her again. Some of the cats are loose. The other door is open. You wait here. I know how to handle cats. Lothel. Well, many of the Tongili no longer believe in their mystery queen of jungle. Marty must arrange her execution as soon as he's in power. Now, what about Courtney's niece, Pamela, and the two Americans? Well, last seen, they were approaching Courtney's camp. Marty should be attending to them now. I'll free the animals. Pile them in or try to recapture them, you creep. I know what to do now. Uncle must have meant that Lothel knows a secret. That's the only logical reason for him mentioning her. Now that we need to talk to Queenie, we'll probably never see her again. Some of the cats are loose. Here, I know how to handle cats. by bumping off that lion. Speaking of favors, thanks, Bob. I wouldn't be standing here if it hadn't been for you. I only wish we could have done as much for your uncle. 
so do I. No. I'll bet you the same men that murdered her uncle freed those cats. Yeah, to give them a chance to get the pen while we was wrestling with the animals. Say, I better see if those pets are all right. They're fighting, we ought to catch them easy. I turned the animals loose. What happened? Well, one of the men knocked the girl down. The spear passed over where she was standing. What do we do now? You stay here. I'm going back and listen. Cats won't bother us now. Are they on consignment? Yeah, to a museum. Got them all ready to ship. Look here. We're getting ourselves quite a collection of weapons. First a Mauser, now this hunting knife. And a Tom Gailey spear thrown in for a dividend. There's only one place a Tom Gailey got the rifle in this knife. Nazis. Yeah, the same Nazis who don't want us to learn the secret of the sword of Tongu. That's the reason they murdered your uncle, Pam. He could tell you the secret. I wonder if Grodak, the new judge of the tribes, would listen to me. After all, I am Alan Corthy's niece. No, we don't have to take that chance yet. Your uncle mentioned Lothel. If Queenie would only stay put for a little while, it'd be okay, but... I'm going to Tongara. Tongara? What for? To convince Grodak that the Germans killed his friend, Mr. Courtney, and to ask him about Lothel. Yeah, no one except the Tongili has ever been there or talked with a judge. Except Mr. Courtney. You went there with him, didn't you? Uh, yes, but... I didn't count. <laughs> you do now. You know the way, and the Tongue will recognize you. Oh, when do we start? Oh, no, Chuck. You take Pam and Mr. Courtney's body back to Tambosa. Jungle Jack will furnish you with an escort from the Safari Boys. Someone has to tell the authorities there what happened. A fine pal you turn out to be. Okay, okay. If I don't see you again, I'll look for your head on a pole outside some native village. <laughs> don't worry, chum. I'll still wink at you. <laughs> Anything, Marty? What I heard will help the boy on the land when I tell him in the morning. Hello? Oh, Weber. Oh, he is. Well, put him on. Well, it's about time you reported, Lang. What kept you so long? I phoned as soon as I talked to Marty. Miss Courtney and the Americans are still alive. Alan Courtney's murder has backfired. Backfired? How? Well, Godak is now inclined to believe that Lothel's warnings are true. I thought you planned to make it appear as though the Americans were responsible for the killing. I can't. The Tongini spear was thrown at Miss Courtney. It shouldn't have been, but it was. If Godak hears about it, he won't believe Marty. And one of the Americans is going to him now. The American must never get there. What about the girl and the other man? Well, they're taking Alan Courtney's body to Tambosa. They won't be molested. The Tangili respect the mourners of the honored dead. In that case, I shall attend to them myself when they reach town. Now, what about Marty? Naturally, he's worried, and so am I. We have depended too much upon Marty. This time, have him do exactly what I'm now going to tell you. I hear the jungle telegraph. I think something's up. That usually is. What do the drums say? Godak wants the chiefs to come see him. I hope it ain't a reception committee for Bob. saying now. Kodak has called a meeting. Discuss Mr. Courtney's murder. Well, there's really a good chance that he'll listen to us if we get to him. Yes, if we get to him. We have come just like Marty said. Yes, we take the secret trail and report to Marty. The 
two strangers coming toward our village. Good. That's what we wanted to know. How long will it be before they arrive? I do not know. I have other warriors watching. They'll come tell us in time. Mm -hmm. That gong means that Godak has gone to put on his robes. When the gong stops, Godak will be at the upper throne. Good. Are you sure you can do exactly as I've told you? You're smart, Buana Lang. Your plan will make me the judge. Well, I'm glad you approve. I'll wait here. to the roving chamber. Everything depends on you. And don't worry, you'll be the next judge. But Wana Lang's plan is good. has arrived. I thought I'd be late. Where's Godak? I've just escorted him as usual to the roaming chamber. Should be here now. Does it not seem strange, Kyber, that Godak waits so long? We waited before. Why not now? I am made suspicious by all that has happened recently in the jungle. What do you mean? I think that Godak, our judge, should be guarded more carefully. Let us go to him. This is Godak, judge of the Tangili. Well, this time everything's working all right. Bring him along. suggested that Kaiba succeed Godak. Lathel, who warned against strangers, is a stranger herself, and a friend of strangers. Ask those strangers where Godak is now. And Lothel answers. Marty sneaks into the jungle and talks there with your enemies. Ask Martin what he has promised those men if he has chosen to succeed Godak. Do you believe this woman who has tricked us before, saying she did it to help us? Or do you believe me? Ah. Look! Look there! Strangers come to Tangara. Kaiba? We shall see now who likes strangers best, you or me. It looks as if the natives are coming after us. 
Yeah, it's just what I was thinking. Listen. Chance to talk to the Tongili now. What's the matter? Bodak's disappeared. Say, this is no place for us. One of those strangers is your friend, Kaiba. And the Thales. Why are they here now, just when Godak has disappeared? They're running for the river. Get ahead of them and fire the grass. Then close in. Their bullets can't hurt the main. We'll start another fire here. Come up with them Tom Gillies or else he'll be right behind us. They're keeping out of range. Yeah, no doubt about it. But if I know him, there's something more to it than this. Something more to it than this is right. Look. Within the hour. It came by a wireless, sir, from Tambosa. Thank you. Pamela Courtney and the two Americans are alive. Alive? It hardly seems possible, sir. I know. But Chatterton reports that Miss Courtney and one of the Americans are already out of the middle jungle. What about Miss Courtney's uncle? They brought Alan Courtney's body with them. He was murdered by Nazi agents. Hello, Roger. 
Roger. Is the Commissioner in? No, Dr. Hawk. Mr. Chatterton is at the funeral. Alan Cortness. Oh, yes. Yes, I was told the sad news. And now I'm afraid I bring more. We hear the jungle telegraph at the farm, you know? Yes, I know. One of the two Americans with Miss Courtney stayed in the jungle, didn't he? Mr. Bob Elliott. He remained with Jungle Jack, safari leader for Mr. Courtney. Indeed. Then it must be those two men whom the Tongili are trying to kill, blaming them for the abduction of Godak, the all-powerful judge of the Middle Jungle tribes. Something up with them Tongilis or else they'll be right behind us. They're keeping out of range. Yeah. Doubt about it. But if I know them, there's something more to it than this. Something more to it than this is right. Look. Trouble getting away now. You save us again, Othell. Mr. Courtney said before he died, you could tell us what we wanted to know. The Bawana Courtney was a true friend of the Tongili. So is Jungle Jack, and I hope I can prove to be one too. Tell me, Othell, what is the secret that gives Godak his great power in the middle jungle? Just some animal. She's gone. Strangers can't live through that fire. No. The both are dead. Godak, our judge, is gone. The ancient secret of the sword is lost with him. Don't be so sure, Cairo, about Godak. Reports should be coming back to Tongaraban now from the searching parties. He may be safe. I'm not going directly back to Tongara, so watch Kaiba. Don't let him escape. He's a traitor. We brought you here, Godak, to protect you. Othell is your enemy, and Kaiba obeys her. You're wanted, Barna Lang. Guard Godak with your lives. Now I'm ready. I will save Godak and take him back to Tangara. Godak has a secret of the sword. I must save him. Yes, but we must do it so he'll believe you. Then he'll choose you to succeed him, and then he'll tell you that secret. I'll learn the secret of the sword, then kill Godak. <laughs> That's right, Marty. And then with the aid of Germany, you rule this middle jungle as no man has ever ruled it before. Tell me, and I will do it. You go back to Tangara and accuse Lothel and Kaiba of abducting Godak. Kaiba, with the help of Lothel, controls the secret of the sword by holding Godak captive. For only Godak knows the secret. Kaiba sent me to search for Godak. We found his trail, but it disappeared in the swamp. One of the captors wore shoes. So did the two strangers, Kaiba's friends, who died in the fire. I don't know any strangers. I told Godak to choose you instead of me. Why then should you accuse me of betraying him?
not found. I will find him for you. I believe that you and Kyber know where Godak is. But if you return him unharmed, Kyber's life will be spared. But if you fail, Kyber walks through the fire. I wish you could go all the way with me. So do I. But I've got to get back to camp and chip them lions and leopards. The river runs right past Tambosa. You should get there a little after dark. Okay. Why take chances, Lang? Well, they won't suspect Dr. Bork speaking to her own farm. After all, she's a famous agriculturalist. Sweet, of course. <laughs> yes, Denka, what is it? Hello? Dr. Bork? This is Lang, speaking from the Valgan Caves. My foreman at Experimental Farm. Both Courtney's safari chief and the American are dead. And Lothal is playing right into our hands by hunting for Godak. Marty will rescue him tomorrow. Thank you, Denka. I'll attend to the matter at this end. And I'll tell Mr. Chatterton about the drums. More jungle telegraph, Dr. Bork? Your friends have been sacrificed to Tongita vengeance. Sacrificed? More Nazi murders, you mean? After what you told Rogers earlier, sir, we expected the worst, but... We can't trace the wire of the rifle of the spear, but this knife is different. It's new and it's an English make. Trace it where, Chuck? Nazis killed your uncle with this, Pam. The same Nazis that murdered Jungle Jack and Bob. We failed to get those Nazis out there in the jungle. But there's a chance this knife was bought right here in Tambosa. I say, if it was... If it was, we've got to find out who bought it and who took it into the jungle. I know this brand, sir. And all the merchants in town that might sell it. Their stores are closed now. But I'll toddle along to their homes if you think it best. Good man, Rogers. Yes, sir. Nazis. <laughs> you haven't a very high opinion of German espionage, have you, Mr. Keller? Not of their methods and morals, but they're smart. Well, I must go. Let me again express my sympathy for the tragic death of your uncle. I've lost a friend. So have the Tongili. Good night. Good night, Dr. Boyle. She lost a friend. She wasn't even at the funeral. I wish I'd have stayed with Bob. Nazis are in the middle jungle. We also know they want to control the Tongili. Yes, by playing on the greed for power of some native who wants to take Godak's place. The abduction of Godak is a key to the whole situation. Quite. The Nazis will torture from him the secret of his power, tell it to their own candidate, whom the Tongili will then obey. And so rule the tribes through that traitor. That must be their plan. It won't work if we grab their agents. And we got a better chance of doing that right here than we have in the jungle. Hello there, Chatterton here. Oh, hello, Rogers. Yes. Good man. Rogers has traced the knife. 
Where was baby bought? From a character called Tambosa Tim. He keeps a grog shop. I know the place. It's on the waterfront. We ain't much on lemonade here. So the taste rancid like. Don't complain. Here, keep what's left over. Thanks, mister. Is your boss around? My boss? That's him there. The big fella talking. Always like that. Tell him I want to see him when he's got time. He's got plenty of that, mate. Well, as I was saying, the tide fell 20 feet in them parts. And when it ebbed, we turned out all hands and patched the holes in the bottom of the schooner's hull. <laughs> and floated her off them rocks at full tide. I dry and handsome. <laughs> Someday I'll launch you, Bilge. Now, what is it you want? A couple over there wants to talk to you. Huh? What about? Search me. <laughs> if I did, I'd probably find a lot of things I lost. I'm Tambosa Tim. What can I do you for? Nowhere I can get another knife like this. <laughs> Where'd you find this one? Picked it up in the jungle. Well, how did it happen you brought it here? A friend claims you can tell me where to get another, if anyone can. Smart friend you've got. <laughs> uh, you, you know Captain Drake? No. The captain of the Silver Star, the schooner, is tied up outside. He, uh... He got a gross of them kind of rippers and a deal once. Maybe he hasn't sold them all yet. Thanks. I'll go there now. Tell him I sent you. Maybe you get a better price. Okay, I will. Very well. Everything I do, I do good. Yeah. Ain't it risky, the, them two going on the Silver Star? No. Because Miss Courtney and Mr. Kelly will never leave there. I suppose their friends trace them here. Admit you send them to Captain Drake. He'll deny ever having seen them. You don't happen to be Captain Drake, do you? Huh? I say, you don't happen to be Captain Drake. Well, he's down below. Down that companionway there. Thanks. Well, well, a delegation. Now, ain't that interesting? I'm Drake. Who are you? Tamboza Tim told us you had some more knives like this. I'd like to buy them. Tamboza Tim, huh? That does it. The old pirate. I don't trust his friends. Well, we're trusted by Mr. Chatterton, the royal commissioner. Are you, man? Well, ain't that nice? If you're looking for trouble, Drake, you'll have to find it. But uh, we're looking for some more knives like this one. Knives and trouble go together now, don't they? <laughs> Close to all of them. Put out So, Jungle Jack is back in his camp, and I'm here. And Mr. Kelly and Miss Courtney will certainly be glad to see you. Oh, I'm sorry I missed them, but I took my time coming through town not knowing the way. No, they should be here any minute now. I hope that knife clue you've been telling me about really gives us a lead to the Nazis. So do I. I've been to all the merchants in town, sir. Some of them know the make of that knife, but none sells it. But, Rogers, 
Didn't you telephone me a short while ago to tell me the Tambosa tin has knives like Mr. Kelly's? Telephone? No, sir, I didn't telephone. Then Pam and Chuck have been framed. Remember them? Nice young couple? Mm, of course I remember them. I never forget nobody, never. I sent them over to Captain Drake. Where can I find him? On a schooner out in front. He's got the kind of knives they want. Friendly man, Captain Drake is. Thanks. And who may you be, if you don't mind my asking? Not that it matters, but I'm Captain Drake. Just the man I came to see. I'm looking for friends. Miss Courtney and Mr. Kelly. They were sent here by Tambosa Tim. Never met them two. Never saw them. Never nobody around here like that. They came to see you about a hunting knife. A hunting knife, you said. And what would a sailor know about hunting knives? I think you can answer that question, Drake. That's the knife, I mean, there on your belt. Where have you got my friend? I don't like being threatened, mister. I don't want any trouble, either. That'll do it. Get below. All right. advises that control over the middle jungle can now be guaranteed. German control of the middle jungle is essential to our plan for gaining control of all Africa. And strategists agree that the European nation which controls Africa controls the approaches to all Europe. Anything else? Dr. Bork has been informed that the two Americans are volunteer agents helping the British. like you want, Dr. Bork. Let me judge that. How about Elliot? Uh, the second American? <laughs> I sent him to Captain Drake aboard the Silver Star. He's looking for his friend and the English girl. <laughs> and who may you be, if you don't mind my asking? Not that it matters, but I'm Captain Drake. You're just the man I came to see. I'm looking for friends. Miss Courtney and Mr. Kelly. They were sent here by Tambosa Tim. Never met them two. Never saw them. Never nobody around here like that. They came to see you about a hunting knife. A hunting knife, you say? 
And what would a sailor know about hunting knives? I think you can answer that question, Drake. That's the knife I mean, there on your belt. Where have you got my friends? I don't like being threatened, mister. I don't want any trouble either. That'll do it, get below. All right. Bring the police. What can they prove? It wasn't much of a rap I gave him, miss. Not with a handle butt of a knife. Now, if it had been with this revolver... Skull crack? No. I was just telling her. It ain't that thin. You know you're aiding Nazis, Captain Drake. We might be thought English or American, mightn't we, ma'am? Well, me and my men have other names back in Germany. Do we storm dead or alive? Alive. So if Kelly refuses to answer questions, we can use Miss Courtney to persuade her. Oh, oh. oh. Don't give me no trouble. Yeah, it ain't as bad as we thought at first. Drake has things all tidy again. What has he done now? Let Kelly and Miss Courtney escape? <laughs> uh, Drake's a smart one. And you know, Elliot's going to be greatly surprised when he comes back with the police. I want to know about the other two. Uh, you can question them just like you want later. If you're sure of that, I'll go to Chatterton's and question Elliot now. Uh. That's right, Rand. Section 9, upriver. Oh, how do you do, Dr. Bork? Won't you sit down? Thank you. Will you excuse me for one moment? Of course. Section 10. Oh, hello, Milo. Chatterton here. Yes. Yes, I want you to patrol the usual boundaries. And that does it. Does what, Mr. Chatterton? Assures me that my constabulary is searching the vicinity for Mr. Kelly and Miss Courtney. You mean those two have disappeared? Worse, Dr. Worse. They've fallen into some sort of trap. Mr. Kelly's right, then. Nazis are here in Tambosa. Here, as well as in the jungle. And the other man, Mr. Elliot. Have you heard any more details about his death? He wasn't killed by the natives, after all. He's alive. Are you certain? He just left here. Came in here to change his clothes. He took some of my men with him. But you shall meet Elliot when he returns. And meanwhile, Doctor, may I ask you a few questions about the Middle Jungle? Anything I know, I shall be glad to tell you. What about Godak, the all-powerful judge of the Middle Jungle tribes? Until he names his successor, he's the only living person who knows where the Sword of Tongu is hidden. And to control that secret is the reason why the Nazis abducted him. It seems obvious. If the Nazis can force him to tell them the secret, they can name the new judge. We agree, Dr. Bork. That is what Mr. Elliot, Mr. Kelly, and Miss Courtney and I are trying to prevent. I'm beginning to think that Captain Drake expected me back and didn't want to be questioned. No, his crew either, sir. Where's your other man? Tom went below, sir. Oh, well, I'll join him. You two stay here. My friends were on this tub, and if we find Drake, I think we'll find them with him. None, sir. Not a sign of anything wrong anywhere. Have you looked around this cabin? Just coming to do it, sir. Better take a squint after. I'll look around here. Yes, sir.
belongs to Mr. Kelly. He's interested in astrology. That's the sign of the zodiac he was born under. He's not on this schooner, sir. Not unless he's in the hold. You better have a look. Yes, sir. Tom's searching the hold. One of you better help him. Nothing at all, sir. No lead on Drake. But I did find something which proves that Chuck Kelly was on this boat. Then Drake did get that knife you saw on him, from Kelly. Yes, that knife was used to murder Miss Courtney's uncle, Alan Courtney. That happened in the jungle, didn't it, sir? Yes, it gave us our necessary connection between those Nazis and Drake. I see. If we can get Drake and make him talk. We may obtain a lead that will expose the entire setup. But we also have to find Chuck Kelly and Miss Courtney. Tom says there's nothing in the hole, sir. But he's taken one last look through the cabins. What do we do now, sir? Get off this scow but plant somebody on the shore to watch her. Yes, I understand. Anything else? From Berlin. Very well. I'll wait until it's decoded. Weber just received another message. Suppose we started the war. So much the better. It's only old teen. What does Dr. Bork want now? Well, Drake is holding one of the Americans and the English girl. The other American got out of the jungle and suspects Drake. I never liked Drake. Is he reliable? Bork doesn't feel she can trust him any too far. What about the shipment of Moses? All the rifles are safe. But Chatterton knows more about Godak than Bork thought he did. You mean he knows where we are holding Godak? No, but he's found out why Godak is so important. And Bork wants immediate action to forestall any move of the British. And I'm going to give it to her. That's good, love. All right, Marty. I'm taking you to the place where I'm keeping Godak a prisoner. Then you rescue him. Then Godak will like me. Make me the next judge and tell me the secret of the soul of Tongu. Then I will kill Godak. That's what I want. With the aid of Germany, you rule the people of the middle jungle. How about this uh, mystery queen, Lothel? The Tongili think I am good now. They do not believe Lothel. Jack. No fail. Now do you believe that I am a true friend of our loyal Tongili? Yes, Lothel. I'm sure of you now. Then you and I can save your people from these strangers and from Marty the traitor. Marty? These men plan to let Marty save you. That is why you were brought here. They believe that you'll be grateful and that you will choose Marty to succeed you. Marty will never learn now where the sword of Tongu is hid. What is it you want me to do? Bargain with these strangers. Oh, I see. You're paying for more time to do what? To gather your people and bring them here so that they can save you, seeing for themselves those who are enemies and traitors. Now, you wait here. When one of my men signals, you come and get good at it. Oh, by me. Is this it? Mr. Lang, I've been expecting you. Expecting me? Why? I'm impatient to leave here. And I know that now you will let Marty take me back to Tongaro. Did you two fools talk loud enough so that he could hear you? We've never said a word in these caves. Either about Marty or the plan. They speak the truth. Well, in that case, Godak, you're going to be sorry you let me know that you could read minds. There's no need to torture me yet. What do you mean? I've decided to tell Marty the secret. You'll tell Marty where the Sword of Tongu was hidden? Why? To save my life and my power, I will choose Marty to succeed me, as you desire. You mean you'll cooperate with us fully? Is that it? That is the bargain I offer you. Well, in that case, I accept.
and send out every available man. There's no doubt that Miss Courtney and Mr. Kelly are in the hands of Nazi agents. That was Marlowe, upriver. Mr. Elliot doesn't think they've left Ambrose, sir. He's gone to search the Silver Star again. Why, the man's mad. Mr. Elliot is convinced, sir, that Mr. Kelly and Miss Courtney have been hidden by the Nazis somewhere on board the schooner. Coffin, I call your little nest. <laughs> May have to bury it right where you are at that. Is that somebody coming for you two? I got a tripwire rigged in the companion way. Hit that wire and an automatic rifle does the rest. <laughs> Drake don't let no flies on him. No, sir. Timbo's at Tim warned me about the tripwire. Oh, so am I. But they're watching the Silver Star from shore. Somebody will be after you, sure. The guard has been removed. How did you get back here? The good captain never leaves his ship, does he now? I had an empty packing case ready for emergency. Are they in there? No place else. I'll speak to them later. I say, question them here, kill them, but let me join your men in the jungle. I don't want the ship abandoned. It will prove to Charlton that it is Nazi. And may lead to the discovery that we've been running guns on her for the natives. I can't face the authorities, Dr. Bork. I don't think they'll believe me. Is that the knife that led them here? That's the Ripper. It killed Courtney. It might as well be used to kill his niece. You agree with me, then? Yes. Keeping Mr. Kelly and Miss Courtney here alive is too dangerous. Bosa Tim, I'm sure they're still on board. Taking the guard away certainly gave Drake a chance to come back. I hope so. That's why we're here. I'm going below. Very good, sir.
will send out every available man. There's no doubt that Miss Courtney and Mr. Kelly are in the hands of Nazi agents. That was Marlowe, upriver. Mr. Elliott doesn't think they've left Ambrose, sir. He's gone to search the Silver Star again. Why, the man's mad. Mr. Elliott is convinced, sir, that Mr. Kelly and Miss Courtney have been hidden by the Nazis somewhere on board the schooner. Talking to Tambosa Tim, I'm sure they're still on board. Taking the guard away certainly gave Drake a chance to come back. I hope so. That's why we're here. I'm going below. Very good, sir. Where you've been hiding. Hiding? How do you get into this thing? Well, the, the captain pried it open with a knife. Come on, hurry up, will you? Here. Did you ever hear anything? Just murmurings and the gunshots. We didn't hear that. Drake saved my life by yelling a warning. Getting eaten, I guess, with whoever double crossed him. You didn't miss the murderer by more than minutes. Long enough for him to get away. Anything else interesting under there? No, no one, no one I know. I don't mind looking into it. Good. Drake was killed with the same knife that was used to murder Pam's uncle. That tripwire operated some sort of German automatic rifle. Automatic, huh? I wonder if they got any more of those babies around here. I say, look what I found. Did you find this under the bunk? Mm -hmm. What goes? Full report on the real ship's cargo. Rifles, Mausers, and ammunition. What a haul. No such luck. That cargo was unloaded. I know, because I searched this tub earlier. If we find the arsenal, we find the Nazis. Those rifles are probably on their way to the natives by now. Hmm. These papers indicate a number of shipments. We know there aren't many natives armed. There must be an arsenal near here someplace. Pam's right, Chuck. The Nazis wouldn't arm the natives until they have them under their control. And that's really what we've got to stop. Okay, where do we go from here? Tambosa Thames. Pam, you'll report to Chatterton. I'll phone him and tell him you're coming. The constable will escort you. If I'm not back in five minutes, you do your stuff, huh? Nothing will please me more. Looking for somebody? Yeah, where's your boss? And boss at Tim. And he'll be here any minute. I like visitors, I do. And I always give them the best, the very best. <laughs> He's busy. Busy? Going someplace, Tim Bosa Tim? No, it 
made you ask that? I never go no place. Never do. <laughs> I let people come to me. <laughs> well, what can I do you for? Oil me in oil. Tear my skin off, strip by strip, and you won't get another yarn out of me because I'm telling you the truth. Sure, sure, but where is Bob now? He went out the back door, just like I said. And he told me to tell you to follow him. Yeah, I know what you said. But why did he leave here in the first place? He said he saw someone looking in that window. If you're lying, you hogshead, I'll be back. Don't move. Friend is already on his way to something he wants to speak to you, too. You talk too much. Frisk him. Of course, as I'm Swedish, the idea of another war seems less real to me, perhaps, than it does to you. Yes. Sweden has managed to remain honorably at peace with the world for quite a long time. But these Nazi agents... Where's Pam? Well, I've been waiting for her here ever since Mr. Elliot called from the riverfront to tell me that you and she were safe. Haven't you heard from Bob since? No, not a word. Gentlemen, if you will excuse me. Good night, Mr. Kelly. Good night, Dr. Bart. Good night, Rogers. Good night. Hmm. What's happened? The commissioner's office. Roger's here. What? Yes. Yes, I'll tell him. What was it, Rogers? Two of your constables have just found the officer who was escorting Miss Courtney. Dead? No, fortunately. Unconscious. Struck down from behind. Barbie's gone, too. It doesn't pay, Elliot, to be curious about Germany. You wanted to find out about us for a long time. You won't have to wait any longer than tomorrow. Is there another prisoner coming? Yes. Yeah. Elliot's old friend, Mr. Kelly. I don't think old friends should be separated. How much to part now? Don't let them escape. We won't. Escaped our men, but I shall question the other two in the morning. And now, tell me about your magnificent success in the jungle. What about Godak? He has agreed to cooperate with us fully. He will name Marty to succeed him. Godak must know that Marty was willing to kill him. What do we really want of Godak? Well, the secret, of course, that gives him his power as the supreme judge of the Middle Jungle tribes. The hiding place, that is, of the sword of Tangu. He cannot act as judge of the Middle Jungle unless he carries that sword. I shall let Berlin know your achievement at once. One thing more. Yes? Godak has agreed to order the execution of Lothel, the mystery queen of the jungle. Is it customary for Germany to keep our allies in chains? You'll be released, Godak, as soon as Lang knows that you're telling the truth. Then I will be freed soon. Marty will find the sword of Tongu where I told him to look for it. I won't be sorry leaving these caves. Another day, another game of cards. Am I tired of this job? Neither Marty nor the strangers have discovered that you are leading them to their destruction. It's the only way, Lord, now to rid our jungle of these enemies and traitors. Control of the natives means helping Germany gain control of all Africa. It also means war in Europe. That's why I came back here purposely, Marty, to see that nothing goes wrong. I have fixed everything. How about the sword of Tangu? I saw the sword where Godak said it was. Well, bring Godak back here tomorrow.
You're a Nazi, Tamboza Tim. Oh, I am. Prove it. Chatterton was right. He said I couldn't, so I won't even try. Nothing unlawful, sir. Like this, you mean? Well, you get over here, too. <laughs> you can't scare Tamboza Tim that easy. Kill me and the English Lord hang you for it. That won't help you. Now, where are the Nazis holding my friends? There's nothing he can do now. I guess you mean it. There's no old mine south of here. You'll find your friends there, together with some guns from Captain Drake's schooner. There's only one mine, sir. If you're not telling the truth... I am, this time. And you've also confessed being a Nazi. Can I arrest you in the name of His Majesty the King? You're in deep. If I were you, I'd talk. Talk about what? Who's in charge of Nazi agents here in Tambosa? I got Tim and gave Kelly the slip. Nobody's following me now. But Kelly knows about the mine. You fool. You listened. I ordered you to shoot. I didn't think Tamboso Tim would talk. And if he hadn't... Who asked you to think? No, I must sacrifice all our munitions. Keller will take constables through the mine. Yes, but... I will not let the English have our supplies. Fortunately, I prepared for just such an unpleasant emergency. Keller will never see his friends again. Yes, Mr. Kelly is taking my car and leaving for the mine now. Yes, you better send two more cars. What? Oh, you send at least six constables. Mr. Elliot and Miss Courtney must be saved. If only those Nazis will stay outside a little longer.
How to go? Cambosa Tim told Kelly where we are holding Elliot and Miss Courtney. What's Bart doing about it? She won't let the British get hold of Elliot, Miss Courtney, or the munitions. No. This affair concerns the welfare of the British Commonwealth of Nations. Consider it a sort of hidden, undeclared warfare. That's the only way, sir, if I may say so, to handle Nazis. What do you hear from our constabulary, Rogers? They're following Mr. Kelly to the old mine, where the Nazi munitions are stored. Nazis. Somebody dropped some sort of bombs on us. But why? Keep those munitions out of the hands of the English. Maybe that car's the answer. We almost got blown up because some Nazi knew you were coming to help us. Oh, I'd like to take the credit, Bob, but there are two cars not very far behind me full of constables. I don't think they'll find the evidence that we want. We don't know any more about the Nazis than we did before. Maybe Chatterton will have something to say about them. We'll let the constables look around here. to the cave where his men are holding Godak. Lothel and Kaiba are coming with the Tongili. She wants Godak. You say that Marty is with Lothel? He is with her, but he sent me to you, Corner Lang. Well, thank you, Norma. You tell Marty not to worry. No one is going to get Godak. The cave where Godak is held prisoner is in the side of Mount Rudanza. If you speak the truth, Lothel, Kaiba will be held hostage for you no longer. His life will be spared. When Godak, the all-powerful judge of the tribes of the middle jungle, is with you again, then the people will know those who speak the truth and those who lie. Let us go to the cave and rescue Godak. No. Wait here for me. I have been there before. The strangers guarding Godak never discovered me. I will make sure we can't surprise them. He's still a hostage. Lothel has not yet saved Godak for us. I trust Lothel. I have not tried to escape. I don't trust her. She may be leading us into an ambush. I shall follow her to find out. Hold him till I return. Wait in the outer cave. Heinkel will let you know what has happened. Lothel is bringing Kaiba, Marty, and the warriors. They'll be here soon, Godak. Lothel? I thought only Marty was to rescue me. Lothel is trying to expose us. But if you, Godak, accuse Lothel and Kaiba of being traitors... No, Lang. It's time to tell my people that Marty is the traitor and that you are an enemy. Lang says not to worry about Godak. Then join the warriors. Is this the cave where you expected to find Godak? You sent a message to the strangers, Marty, warning them that I was coming with warriors, and they have taken Godak elsewhere. The fact remains that Godak isn't here. The warriors will believe me when I accuse you of misleading us again. 
You know I'm a traitor, but you will never live to prove it to the middle jungle tribes. The fair will no longer be known as the mystery queen of the jungle. Hello, Lang. Weber, this is Godak, judge of the middle jungle. Incidentally, he speaks English as well as we do. I thought he had decided to join us. He looks more like a prisoner to me. No, these gentlemen are my protectors. You've got to travel, Lang. What? Yes. I just had a special message from Berlin. Extra urgent. Wait till I decode it and you'll take it with you. Well, that's all right. I just wanted to see that Godak was made comfortable before I left. Godak has told Marty where the sword of Tongu is hidden. Only those two know the secret, and it makes them all powerful. Yes. The natives will obey them, while Marty and Godak will obey us. This is important, Elise. It just came from Berlin. I'll tell you about Godak later. So London is sending a courier to Chatterton? The man is on his way now. He should be in Tambosa not later than the day after tomorrow. What do you think about the discovery of our jungle radio? It was obvious that the English would triangulate sooner and later and thus find our compass bearings. The courier is carrying the correct bearings to Chatterton. Now, what if wrong ones were substituted? Lang, this time you've done the thinking for both of us. Dr. Bork, I've missed you. Thank you, Rogers. I've been busy at the farm. May I see Mr. Chatterton? Bob and Pam are in there with him. I'm sure that he and they will be delighted to see you. In that case, I shall enter unofficially. Oh, you're so polite, Rogers. Sometimes you make me ashamed of myself. Can I help you, sir? I've been sent from London to see Mr. Chatterton. From London? Official business. Yes? A courier from London, sir, with a dispatch from Mr. X. Ask him to come in, please, Rogers. No, no, please don't go. Uh, any trouble en route? An uneventful trip, sir. Nazi espionage had no opportunity to learn of this mission. You came the usual way? There was no reason to change it, sir. Thank you. That's what I get for staying out here talking with you. As Mr. Chatterton hasn't asked the others to leave, I doubt that they really object to you joining your friends. I'm not going to give them the satisfaction of knowing how curious I am. What's that? Mr. Chatterton, we have a sort of code. Oh. Any additional message? No, sir. As a matter of fact, I don't know the contents of that dispatch. It's just as well. You know, I'm afraid you'll have to wait a day or two for my answer. No, I've put up at the hotel, sir. Good. Well, that'll be all at present. And thanks, old man. Thanks very much. Thank you. Well, I guess I'll wander around town. I got a yen for excitement. I hope you find it. Well, I usually do. I'll leave you now, but I may come back later before returning to the farm. You're always welcome here, Dr. Bork. Thank you. Mr. Kelly is following him now, sir, and I've informed the constabulary. Oh, good man, Rogers. You know, that courier didn't know the answer to some of my seemingly casual questions. He's a Nazi. But how did Rogers know? Oh, I have a buzzer under here. I work it with my knee. This looks very official, sir. Yes, that's a very good copy of a secret British dispatch. Then the Nazis substituted couriers. I think so, Pam. Another loyal Englishman probably lost his life. We weren't sure whether you'd catch on to our courier or not. 
so we set a trap for anybody following him. You Nazis sure think of everything, don't you? We don't leave anything to chance. That's why we'll conquer. You've done all the conquering you're ever going to do. Thanks. The constables followed me ahead and behind, just in case I met a Nazi. Any luck? Yes, my men have the career. Good. Very well, take him away. Get going. I think it's about time this place was searched. Chatterton, tell him about, about Rodanza. I, I heard. As you can see, Mount Rodanza isn't very far into the jungle from here. Well, this is one lead that's genuine. Yeah, the Heinies never expected us to find the real courier alive after they got through with him. That's why they didn't mind him overhearing their talk about Godak being hidden in the cave on Rodanza. You know, Bob, it begins to appear that your strategy is being proved correct. You mean looking for clues to the Nazis here instead of in the jungle? Right. If you can rescue Godak, you'll be well on your way to clearing up the entire jungle trouble. That's just what we're going to try to do, sir. You know where this cave is located? The cave is just about here, a few hundred yards up the mountain from this trail. All right, I'll go on ahead. Chuck, you get the constabulary and follow. Yeah, OK.
reply from Dr. Elise Bork concerning the report sent to her by Your Excellency. Continue. Elliot's suspicion is fact. Godak is now at Mount Belgan. Well, Godak, I brought you from the caves of Mount Redanza to this place because here no one will ever find you. And here you will kill me, isn't that it? If I refuse to help you? That's right. Well, Muller, Weber sent the message. And Bork? Last time Weber talked to the farm, he was told that Dr. Bork was still at the commissioner's. Unfortunately, Dr. Bork, the Nazi agents we've captured so far refuse to talk. In other words, Mr. Chatterton, not much progress. But Bob and Chuck are on the trail of Godak. That is good news. Rescuing the native leader will ensure the friendship of the Middle Jungle tribes. Oh, it's still only a chance. There's also a chance that Godak will be able to give us a lead to the Nazis. Where are Mr. Elliot and Mr. Kelly looking for Godak? in a cave on Mount Redonza. Bob went on ahead and Chuck is on his way with the constabulary. Well, it is my duty to help all true friends of the Middle Jungle people. Do you know if Godak has been in that cave down there? Yes, but he was taken away from it. Oh, that explains the lions. Those big cats were attracted by scraps of food left there. Do you know where Godak is now? He's been taken to a hiding place somewhere deeper in the jungle. I have not yet found out where. Does anyone else besides Godak know where the Sword of Tongu is hidden? A trader named Marty. But he cannot show the sword or claim to be Godak's successor until he proves that Godak is dead. Bob! Bob Elliot! Bob! Bob Elliot! Chuck! They can... Constabularies are at the caves. We chased out some lions. They chased me first. Well, they'll save my life. Queenie? Oh, did I scare her away? Well, she isn't around here, is she? Who got Godak? The lions or the Nazis? The Nazis. Lothel says they've taken him to a hideout deep in the jungle. Has she found it yet? No, but I got a good idea where it is. The Nazi radio station. No place else. We can get our compass bearings to it from Mr. X in London. <laughs> By the usual code. Chatterton, Ambosom. Urgent. Yes. Don't you think, sir, it would be safer to send this message to Chatterton by the new code? What's it matter? The Nazis already know we have the compass bearings giving us the general location of their jungle wireless. When they murdered the courier I sent to Tambosa, the dispatch he carried had those bearings in it. The important thing that they do not know is Elliot's conviction that he'll find Godak at the Nazi wireless station. Hello, are you there? Put me through to 7861 West. X1 London here, yes. Relay at once. Compass bearings are Middle Jungle radio station by code to Chatterton, Tambosa. Elliot believes Kodak there. That'll do now. Come along. No, no, Jerry. None of that. Thanks, old chap. You've made it a certainty that your Nazi friends in the Middle Jungle will now take reckless chances. And the men associated with you here in England, they are being invited to keep you company. The High Command warns that there's no excuse for failure, Denker. 
you either succeed or die. But Dr. Bork, how is it possible for Lang to fail? He's leading the natives to Jungle Jack's camp. Elliot has no reason to suspect any such move tonight. I know the plan, Danka. It's mine. But Elliot has escaped before. <sighs> Yes, Weber? What have you got to report? Lang is on his way now with Marty and warriors. We'll reach Buana Elliot in about one hour, maybe. We'll have to go faster than this. He won't expect us tonight, but he will tomorrow. If we don't kill Elliot, you'll never take Godak's place and rule the people of the Middle Jungle. I want to rule. You help me, Buana Lang, and I'll help you. Zanga! Zanga! We'll go very fast now. Oh, come on! So you see, Pam, by going to Jungle Jack here, Bob and Chuck are on the direct route to the Mount Balgan region, where Godak is. I know, Mr. Charlton, but, but Bob has virtually challenged the Nazis to come and get Chuck and him. Word from Nairobi? The scouts will send the company, sir, if you need it. Well, that should be a tonic for your doubts, my dear. You should understand, Miss Pam, that Mr. Elliot wants to make it appear as if he is foolishly exposing himself to attack. You see, actually, he'll have Chuck, Jungle Jack, and all the loyal safari boys to help him. Come on in, boys. I was just getting ready to come to Tambosa. What are you doing here? We came here to see you. We need your help. Where are all your men? I just sent them west with a shipment of animals. They've gone about a month. Uh-oh. Before we left Tambosa, we let the whole town know that we were coming here to see you. Just to make sure the Nazis would hear about it. Seems to me you didn't leave nothing undone. Didn't you say you had London tip the Nazis off that you know where Godak is? We want to be sure the Nazis will follow us to a place we've chosen. It was a good plan, too. If you hadn't sent your safari west this time instead of Tambosa as usual. When your safari didn't show up in town, Chatterton figured that your boys would be here with you. Hmm. Sorry we let you in for this. Well, I ain't. You think I'm forgetting they murdered Mr. Courtney out here? The fire's burning down. No guards. Everyone must be sleeping. It'll be easier to kill them. Yeah. Come on, tell the warriors. Friends of the Middle Jungle people, your enemies are coming. Many enemies, you must go. We'll do it you say, Lothel. They're striking faster than we figured. I shall lead you, come. me prisoner at the old mine. The lines are gone and so has the safari. There's nobody here. It begins to look like we've been tricked. One Elliot didn't come here, you mean? Elliot told everybody at Tambosa he was coming here. Maybe he's really gone to Mount Belgan. I got close enough to see those two. Where's Lothel? She does it every time. Do you know the man the native called Lang? I sure do. He's Dr. Bork's safari leader. He usually hangs around that experimental farm of hers. Bork. I wonder. So do I now. But could be. You trail Lang and the native. Chuck, you report to Chatterton. And then come on out to Bork's place. That's where I'll be. You want me to tell her that? Do you, Lang? Well, Elliot wasn't in Courtney's camp, and so far we haven't found any trace of him here in the jungle. I'll tell Borg. She's in Tamboza, picking up the Courtney girl. Pam Courtney, what's up? The girl wanted to see the farm. Dr. Borg thought it's safer to bring her here rather than let her come by herself and maybe stumble into something. 
Be sure to tell Bork about Elliot the first chance you get. She will ask me. Don't worry. She isn't. I expect her shortly. Anything I can do, sir? Well, Dr. Bork said she'd show me around. Her work must be very interesting. Yes, it is. I've heard Dr. Bork speak of you. You're welcome to wait, sir. Thank you. Oh, Dr. Bork. Miss Courtney, this is Denker, my foreman. How do you do? How do you do, Miss Courtney? The laboratory controls our work in the fields. Oh, I see. <laughs> So here is where all experiments with seedling originate. How interesting. How do the American seedlings respond to treatment? Have you checked lately? One of them, Dr. Borg. Not so good. I have just about decided that fumigation is necessary. Oh, uh, do so by all means. We won't interrupt you. I'll take you to the seed house first. <laughs>
So I came back here from the camp. There's no doubt, Mr. Chatterton, that Lang is a Nazi. Joking Jack recognized him and is following him now. That is important. You know, Lang must be a key man. He knows the middle jungle, and he's probably behind the trouble with the natives. Sure, but he's also hired by Dr. Bork and hangs out at her experimental farm. Jack, do you and Bob suspect Bork? Don't you? Bob and I separate it, and he's on his way to have a look at that farm. Well, he'll meet Pam there. She's visiting the place with Bork. Well, I think it might be a good idea if I got myself out there in a hurry. I don't want to miss anything. You better take my men with you, Chuck. Thanks, Commissioner, I will. You can never tell about Nazis. <laughs> Condemned yourself by coming back too soon. Now you're going to join Elliot. Don't you think Mr. Elliot better join us? That's a constabulary car. I'll shut the gas up. Open the door, but hold your breath. sure you're alive any minute now. Too bad Dr. Bork had to shoot the Nazi to save you. But maybe you could tell us something about him. Nazi? Denker? Uh-huh. I suppose he was, but I know nothing about him except that he was an expert farm manager. He wouldn't tell you he's a Nazi. He probably worked with Lang. Are you sure about Lang? Absolutely. Then we're making progress. Plenty. We're cleaning Nazis out of here. We know they got a radio station on Mount Balkan. And Jungle Jack is following Lang there now. Water Lang, I'm going back to Tongara. That's right, Marty. As long as Kyber is alive, you won't be able to take Godak's place without running the risk of discovery. And we'll kill Kyber. You kill Godak. You have him prisoner in your caves. Well, that's it. But Kyber must be dead first, so that Lothel won't have him to back her up. I know the secret of the sword of Tongu. I will say that Godak told it to me. I'd make myself judge in his place. Only the judge knows the secret. Only he rules all tribes in the middle jungle. That's what I want. And Marty can help me. You help me, Buana Lang, and I'll help you. Jungle Jack, huh? Tie him up, I'll take him with me. Marty, you better get back to Tangara and look after Kaiba. to murder you, Kaiba, but you must live and save Godak, the true leader, who is a captive in the caves of Balgan. It's you, Marty. What do you want here? I just wanted to be certain that Kaiba was safe. Safe? You mean till the test of fire tomorrow? Kaiba has been held hostage for Lothel, mystery queen of the jungle. He must pay for our treachery. Hide the body and take his place. I'll go visit Kaiba.
caves of the middle jungle. Neither you, Marty, nor anyone else can prevent me. Dr. Bork shot that man, Denka, to try to prove that she wasn't a Nazi. But I'm certain that she is. So am I, my dear. So are Bob and Chuck. But we have no proof, and so far she hasn't betrayed herself. Come in. Dr. Bolt. Good evening. Well, Doctor, your farm has a clean bill of health. I'm relieved to hear that. My dear Doctor, you are free to continue your work. <laughs> As you probably know, your constabulary has been questioning me. <laughs> Polite but thorough, what? Very thorough. Thank you, Mr. Chatterton. Good night. What a performance. She's pretending, but she doesn't know that we suspect her. Oh, she's smart and ruthless. Mm -hmm. And that adds up to dangerous, my dear. Especially when we don't know what she's going to do next. Bob and Chuck think she'll go back to the farm. That's why they're staying there. We've been waiting around here for hours, and what's happened? Nothing. Nothing will until Lang comes back from Mount Belgian to report to Bork. Suppose she doesn't show up. Well, we'll find out what Lang does. like it's in there. Waiting here has paid dividends. I'll say. We'll find Nazis at the other end of this phone. Follow the wires, you mean? Not a bad trail, if you ask me. Let's locate the wires first. They're probably underground till we get the jungle. doing here? On my way to Balgan. I left the car beside the road and doubled back through the trail. Were you discovered? Suspected. Well, what about the telephone? The farm is no place for me now. I intend to send you from Balgan to remove the phone. But uh, now I'll wait. Well, I'll get rid of it. It won't take long. I'll use your car. It's still northwest. Yeah. We'll head for the jungle now and hunt for the wires on the same bearing. Here it is, just like we figured. It goes to Balgan, all right. Better than that, it goes to the place we have to find. Yeah. If we're guessing right, we ought to join up with Jungle Jack sooner or later. And Mr. Lang. followed Dr. Bork from Tambosa. She parked a car on the side of the road about halfway to the farm. So I came on here. Either they're following Nazis or the Nazis have... Return here at once. Very well.
Thought you'd find Elliot or Kelly here, didn't you? Come on, let's get out of here. Now's my time to telephone. Yes, Lang. I rang the farm about an hour after you left the caves here. I figured Dr. Bork would be there waiting for you. Miller and Heinkel just brought in another prisoner. Kyber. Good. I've got a prisoner too. Pamela Courtney. The Courtney girl, eh? What do you want done with this Kyber? Give him to Marty or keep him here? Put him in the cave with Jungle Jack. Yes, Lang. What? How do you know? They dug up the wires. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry, Lang. What's up? Lang is pretty sure that Elliot and Kelly are tracing the telephone line here. You and Heinkel know how to fix it for them, don't you? Sure. Dr. Borg showed us. It's her idea. All right, Miller. Fix it. We're going straight to Balgan, all right. By the slowest, toughest route I've ever taken any place. Yeah, those last few hills were kind of tough. Hills? Mountains, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> you see, Miss Courtney, I am responsible to Germany for winning control of the middle jungle. Is that all Germany wants? No, Africa. I'm only one of many key agents. But now, like the others, I can report success. For your information, Mr. Elliot and Mr. Kelly will never reach Balgan. We better have a talk with Kodak. I've been expecting you. Have you made up your mind to cooperate with us? No. Well, in that case, you will be killed, and Kaiba too. Marty would then produce the sword of Tongu, would he not? Of course. But Marty does not know the true secret. I only told Marty about the other sword. What other sword? It looks exactly like the sword of Tongu, but it's not the real sword. Who knows the difference? Only one man can tell the real sword from the false. Marty cannot rule the middle jungle people unless he knows where the real sword is hidden. Kodak will reveal the secret to us a little later. After Miller and Hankel report that Elliot and Kelly are dead. Dr. Borg's right. Elliot and Kelly are coming here now. They are cooperative fools, Miller. They change the direction of the wires. They follow them and walk straight into Borg's trap. Yes, our telephone wires will never lead them into our secret headquarters in Mount Balgan now. Hey, this looks like something. Yeah, but it's still not Balgan. Leave it to the Nazis to have more than one hideout. They sure are playing things. There's the wire. Here they come. Looks like it goes underground again. Yeah. They're walking into their graves and don't know it. Say when.
latest. Quite. Quite. Thanks, old chap. Anderson reports from Berlin that Germany will attack Poland at any moment. Not unexpected, what? But at least this office has its affairs in order. But not a Tambosa. Let Chatterton know the worst at once. Of all the commissioners under Mr. X's supervision, I'm the only one who isn't ready. Everybody I need has disappeared. Bork, Bob, Chuck, Pam, Jungle Jack, Godak. Hey, this looks like something. Yeah, but it's still not Balgan. Leave it to the Nazis to have more than one hideout. They sure are playing things. Dr. Borg's right. Elliot and Kelly are coming here now. They are cooperative fools, Miller. They change the direction of the wires, they follow them, and walk straight into Borg's trap. There's the wire. No. Looks like it goes underground again. Yeah. Yes, our telephone wires will never lead them into our secret headquarters in Mount Balgan now. They're walking into their graves and don't know it. Now do you understand, Miss Courtney, why Africa rightfully belongs to Germany and how she intends to get it? What Germany will get, Dr. Bork, won't be Africa. When you shoot a cat, you sure he's dead before you put your rifle down. By the way, uh, don't expect Mr. Elliot or Mr. Kelly to save you. They've been buried alive. Certainly did a good job this time. How are we going to get out of here? I don't know. Hey, Bob, look. You see what I see? Don't follow me until I call you, Chuck. Come on. The Nazis tried to kill us, not scare us. So somebody else opened this tunnel. Must have been locked out. Hey, it was. The middle jungle people need their friends. But our enemies have captured them. Who else did the Nazis capture, Lothel, in addition to Godak? Kaiba, the Tongili who should succeed Godak, an old hunter, and the niece of the murdered Courtney. Jungle Jack and Pam, where are they? In the caves of Mount Balgan. You mean you can't help our friends? Mine is another destiny. That's a new way of saying no. Take it easy, Chuck. Will you show us the way to go there? Yes, follow me. All we have to do is find where the telephone wires start again and follow them. I will show you a path. That's for me. You follow the wires if you want to. Sometimes I wonder if I'm stupid or just talk too much. Oh, you don't talk too much. Well, it's... Follow the path that will lead you to the caves of Balgan, to Godak, Kaiba, your friends, to your enemies. Well, Queenie's done it again. Finished? Yeah. 
We'll be at war with Poland before tomorrow. Good. The sooner the better. Where's Lang? In with Kodak. Is Kodak reasonable? No, he refuses to tell us where the real sword of Tongu is hidden. Perhaps he just doesn't understand. You've been taught all the latest scientific methods of the Gestapo, haven't you, Hankel? That's why I say, Kodak doesn't understand. Well, give him a demonstration. But don't kill him. Has Kodak told you the secret? No, he's stubborn. I warned Hankel not to kill him. How about Marty? He should be waiting for me on the trail. Good. Have him postpone producing the sword and claiming Godak's place. Or shall I tell him about the sword being an imitation? No. Let him continue to believe that it's the real sword of Tongu. Mm -hmm. Godak is beginning to believe it is wise to do what we want. Godak will give me the lower throne? If he doesn't, you can claim to be a successor anyway. Your middle jungle people will never suspect you. How long do we wait? Until tomorrow. When Godak chooses me, I will kill Godak. I want to be the judge. Well, if you can do it when the time comes, go ahead. Look! Stop here. You're not stopping, Chuck. We didn't see you. Cut across the telephone wires and follow them into Balgan. While you get it here? <laughs> Just watch me. Not seeing you with me, they'll think you're dead. I'll hold them off long enough so no one will follow you. Uh-uh. No soap, Bob. Listen, Chuck, it's our only chance to rescue Pam, Godak, and the others. Well, okay, Bob, I guess you're right. Go on, beat it. <laughs> Giving himself away. Mr. Elliot, we finally caught up with you. What's the matter, Kyber? Is something wrong? Kodak's in danger. Very great danger. Well, no more so, Kyber, than the rest of us. Kodak will not live. The science of torture, Heinkel, is to prolong it. There's always another day, but there's only one Godak. I never saw anyone stand so much pain. I, I guess I thought him stronger than he is. There's a chance I can save him. French are getting ready for general mobilization. Weber? Yes, Dr. Borg. What do you know about the sword of Tongu? The man who knows its hiding place, Kodak, is the judge of all the tribes. The sword is the symbol of his power. If we knew the secret, and a new judge like Marty didn't know it, we would control Marty, wouldn't we? Well, that's obvious. Marty has to have the sword in order to be judge, and he can only get it from us. Precisely. The chances are, Heinkel, 
that we will never learn that secret now. Where are the medical supplies? I'll get them, Doctor. I've come, Godak, so that the secret of the sword would not be lost to your Tongili. Don't fail. I've been waiting for you. Only you can save my people now. Where is the hiding place for the sword of Tongu? The sword of Tongu is hidden in... in... With Germany undertaking to fight the whole world, mistakes cannot be tolerated. Uh, Dr. Bork, I thought Godard was stronger than he is. You can't always tell about people when you torture them. How was I to know that he would... Get rid of the body. I've gotten out of your trap somewhere, Muller. I was going to kill him right away, but I thought I'd better let Bork decide what to do with him. Good idea, Lang. Heinkel almost killed Godak. Oh, I told him to be careful. How's Godak? Dead. Arrange Godak's body for Marty to take away. Now that Godak is dead, and our friend Mr. Elliot is with us, all our prisoners have become valuable. I can use them to help Marty take Godak's place. Our Luftwaffe is bombing Poland. You see, Mr. Elliot, Germany's plans have left nothing to chance. England is declaring war. France will follow. <sighs> They're signing the death warrants. You Germans also said the same thing in 1914, Dr. Bork. <laughs> you know what happened. I'll let you talk to me about it a little later, Mr. Elliot. But I don't think you'll find it funny. Put it with the others. You were dead. Where's Chuck? It would be cruel, Mr. Elliot, to let your friends think that Mr. Kelly was dead. You permitted us to capture you in order that Kelly might escape, hoping he might save you. But the natives picked up his trail. Mr. Kelly hasn't gone as far as you'd hoped.
Excellency, from our Balgan headquarters, the Middle Jungle. Our progress in Africa has been much less than I expected. I hope Dr. Borg is not failing us in such a glorious moment in Germany's history. Dr. Borg reports complete success. Really? She's able to guarantee control over the judge who rules the Middle Jungle tribes, and she has captured all those who might expose her. Congratulate, Dr. Borg. Gordak, the judge of all judges, is dead. Miss Courtney, Mr. Elliot, Jungle Jack, Kaiba. You will be accused of murdering him. Thank you, Lang. Aren't you supposed to meet Marty? I'm leaving now. The High Command feels that my work is a contribution to our war. Mr. Elliot, you did me a favor by allowing yourself to be captured. And you failed to divert attention from Mr. Keller. He's either dead by now, or my prisoner. Before the river, further down. Catch him coming around this way. Now I'll take you to Buena Lang. Have your men keep the prisoners here. Boinga Moko, Boinga Dancer, Tattoo, Tattoo. Bring Kaiba with you and come with us. I wait standing. You, know, you got something there. I guess we don't have a chance. I can't understand why Lothel saved you and then let the natives capture you. I can't either. But she's our only hope now. Well, if that mystery queen of the jungle don't want these Nazis controlling this tribes, she better be getting herself busy. Godak told me where the sword of Tangu was hidden. This is a sword and I have taken Godak's place. I'm now the judge of the Middle Jungle people. Take Kaiba. When you want the other prisoners, you know where they are. Kaiba may die, but I am not a traitor.
Laban, you whom I have asked to assume the duties of the lower throne, just for a day, why are the chiefs of our tribe standing before me? Martin, judge of all Tongili, guardian of the sacred sword of Tongu, Tiber killed Godak, who made you his successor before he died, by telling you where the sacred sword of Tongu was hidden. The chiefs await your decision. Tongu first spoke the law of the tribes and enforced it with this sword. Tongu gave his sword to his successor, the first judge, told him the secret place to hide it, and he who holds it must be obeyed. The sword of Tongu must be obeyed. Take the test. hesitate. Yet they and they alone pass safely through the flame. The guilty perish. You speak of guilt, Marty, and you are guilty. You helped our enemies kill Godak. The sword that you hold is not the real sword. Before Godak died, he told me the hiding place, so that the secret would not be lost, so that I might for him choose his successor. You come with lies as you always do. This is a true sword of Kandu. You do not know the secrets of the sword, Marty. Either where it is hidden, or that there be one here who can prove the real from the imitation. I am he who is able to prove which is the real sword. Give me the sword. this piece, and it fits only the hidden cavity in this sword. Mystery Queen of the Jungle, your story is true. You have brought Tongu's sword to us. Marty is the traitor, and Nomad is his aid. Lothel brought the real sword Tongu. Marty is dead now. I'll go. Wait a minute. I'll get the records in Balgan and meet you in Tomboza. Where am I going? Kill the prisoners. They're the only ones who can identify us as Nazis. Come with me, Nona. It is my hope that all enemies of Germany will get... I didn't think you had it in you, Kaiba. You're okay. Lufel saved me. Sent me to you. Hey, look here. I say it's a Mauser. A Nazi destroyed by his own weapon. I hope that's the forecast for Germany's future. It is. Bork isn't with Lang. She's probably on her way to Balagan. That's for us, then. Pan, you stay with Jungle Jack. We'll take your rifle and Lang's revolver with us. Our armies are invincible. Poland will be defeated within a month. You're not so fortunate here. Set the mechanism to blow up these caves. I'll take the master records. What happened? Lothel. I'll take those records, Dr. Borg. You have failed. I answer to the high command for my failure, not to subordinates.
should report your loyalty to Berlin Miller. adventure. Well, I'm sure there's no need to call me Mr. X any longer. I'm Lord for a Mr. Robert Elliott, sir, in care of you. Thank you. know we were here. Came through official channels. Well, look at this. Contains a list of all the Nazi agents in Germany. Dr. Elise Bock. Dr. Bock's records? But how did it get here? Well, the case is really wrapped up in cellophane now. Lothel sent it. Lothel? The mystery queen of the jungle? Yes, sir. How do you figure that, son? But you and Chuck found out that LaFell was with Dr. Bork in the Balgan Caves when the explosion occurred. That's right. She worked it the same way she saved me from the crocodiles. Where did she get the hunk of raw meat she threw him? I don't know. Do you? Who knows? <laughs> Chief has come again to the middle jungle, and the secrets of the sword are safe. The upper and lower thrones are no longer vacant. I came to help you, and now my task is done. I am... Lothel! 